this is Andrea Needles, fitness director at Creighton Farms again. I wanted to show you what you can do to work out at home with not spending a lot of money. I have a few props with me today. I have a set of ankle weights, some gliders, a loop band. These come in all different um, intensity levels and a band with straps. With just a few pieces of equipment, you can get both a cardio and a strength workout in a very short amount of time, not spending a big, putting a lot of investment in. We're gonna start standing up with our gliders. I'm gonna go, these come with, that you can do them on regular flooring as well as carpet. So just make sure you, just, you determine ahead of time which one you're gonna use. I'm gonna use mine on carpet. I'm going to do a, a, a single leg lunge, up and down, I'm gonna go to the side and just demonstrate what you do. I'm also using my core. I'm gonna do four more reps on this leg. Like always, determine your reps and your sets based on your fitness level or what you want to focus on that day. So we're going to switch legs here. I'm looking neutral with my head, keeping my knee directly aligned on top of my ankle, pulling my abs in, and not letting my knee cave in. Two, one. Since I promised you some cardio, we're going to go right into mountain climbers. I'm putting both gliders in, pulling my abs in, and now I'm going for a ride today. to make a plank just a little bit more difficult by putting them underneath your hands and going forward and pulling back. If you're not quite feeling like you want to do that and you want to go modify and go even deeper, you can do that as well. These are a really inexpensive piece of equipment. If you really don't have the option to get these, you can you can do like you have a floor and you want to use like a towel and move your hands that way, you can do that as well. But this is a good investment. We're gonna move on to our looped band. We're gonna put this, we're gonna try it sitting down first. So the good, the advantage about being on your floor is I can press my back down. So if I have lower back soreness or anything, but I still wanna work outside of my legs and press my abs down, it's a really effective way to do that. You can mix and match the way you do these, hold it, mix up the tempo. I'm also going to show you how to do these walking. I'm going to move the band up a little bit on my leg. I'm going to make sure I pull my abs in. I'm going to look neutral. I'm going to make sure my knees do not cave in. And I'm going to keep in a mini squat. Five, five, four, three, two, one. 
going to show you also how to do a clamshell. This is very, very, very effective exercise. I'm going to put the band right above my knees, keep my knees, to, my feet together, and lift and lower my knee. I feel that all right there in my outer boot. You don't need many reps of this. We're just going to do 10. I usually do about two sets of 10 or 15, but a, lot, a little goes a long way. You work one side, got to do the other, so we're going to do that real quickly. Seven, eight. All right, come back to here. Another way you can work your legs, putting the band on my ankles, and I'm just gonna lift up my top leg, and I'm working all the way up and down my leg. I can also lift and lower my bottom leg by tucking my top leg behind me. So there I am getting my inner thighs worked. So let's do that on the other side. Okay, I'm going to tuck it behind me. Really flexing and strengthening that inner thigh. Okay. You can also use the loop band to work your arms. Put it between your around your wrists and just push, 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 push. Bands with a little less resistance are a little bit more effective for your upper body because you get a little bit more range of motion. So I'm just going to hold and pulse. Okay. We're going to move on to the band with handles. You can do a ton with this. I'm sure you've seen some videos on that before or use them, but you can do both arms for shoulders or you can just do one arm. Again, where you place your foot on the band increases or decreases the intensity level. You can also do a squat. I really like these bands for bicep curls. So I'm going to put both feet on the band. And I like to do biceps one arm at a time, keeping my shoulder down, changing the angle up. Give myself a little less tension. Three, four, come out to the side. And you can also hit the back. So since the back is usually a very strong muscle, I'm going to give myself a very maximum resistance on this one. And again, bands with handles come in different intensity levels as well. You bring it up to the side, back, side, back. Up a little bit more. One, two. Again, I'm working that core, stabilizing my back. I like to alternate it up. And another exercise you can do is the back of your shoulders. And you're just going to come up and down, up and down. 
This one, you want to give yourself a lot more leeway to get, you don't want very much resistance for the back of your shoulders. I would probably invest in one or two different intensity levels of bands so that you can work with such things as your rear deltoid muscle, the back of your shoulders, and a lighter resistance than say you would your back. Now, all of us like to work our legs, I'm sure. So, the all handy ankle weights. I know they're a little uh, outdated looking, but they're so effective. I'm gonna strap them around my ankles. You can also use your ankle weights for your upper body movements if you want to, if you don't have a band. I'll show you a few of those at the end here. Okay, I'm gonna start with my inner thighs. Pressing those, that back down. And I like to use ankle weights, especially for my core work, because it makes my abs, my ab workout just a little bit more intense. So we're gonna do five more of these. In a normal workout, I would probably do about two to three sets of 25 to 50 reps. But that's when I'm just focusing on certain muscle groups, but to kind of show you an all body one today. Okay. You can also do fake your glute raises, a little bit more intense. And especially your donkey kicks. You can also crisscross. Do your fire hydrants. Everything that you normally do just on the floor, just adding a little bit more intensity. I'm going to show you a not to be straight leg. Again, your crisscrosses. And, just like I showed you with the loop band, the thing that I like about the ankle weight is I like to change my toe position up, my foot position up to focus on certain parts of my leg. So, I may start out with my toe facing up, now I'm gonna face neutral, now I'm gonna lean forward, tuck my toe down, and I'm squeezing different parts of my Now I'm just going to go to a straight leg, neutral position, and this is where I might do more reps. I'll just do a few on the other leg for you. It'd be nice if my shoes stayed tied, but they don't seem to want to do that. Okay, now I'm going to tuck my toe down. I'm going to rotate forward a little bit. And now I'm going to go neutral. And now I'm just playing around with the tempo a little bit. I'm going to hold, pulse up and down. Just mixing it up. And now I'm just going to wrap it out. There's different ab exercises you can do. Just like the scissors, I'm sorry, the bicycles. The knee tuck in. I'd be careful with these, adding extra weight to your ankles if you have a back issue of any kind. But if you don't and you're just looking for that little extra oomph, ankle weights are a great addition. Awesome. 
show you. These are about three pound weights, but you can buy them in sets of five pounds each, three pounds each, two pounds each. But they make a great fly exercise tool. You can lift up, out. Really great for golfers who want to work doing their T's, W's, and Y's. If you don't have dumbbells, put it together. W. You can also do side bends with them. Bicep curls. And perfect for triceps. So one workout idea would be to do mostly strength and then use your gliders interspersed within to go ahead and jump up your cardio. And there you have it. A good, effective, short, concise workout with very little money. One additional piece of equipment that you might want to purchase that I didn't show you today is the stability ball. That's usually roughly about $15 and that is another tool that we can use. I'm going to do that in a separate video, all the exercises you can do on a stability ball. So that's why I didn't include it in today's workout, but stay tuned soon for that piece of equipment demonstration. Again, I'm Andrea Needles and I would welcome any feedback or ideas for future videos. My, I can be reached at aneedles at and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again for joining and watching.